Peter McCain, one of the most iconic characters in Call of Duty Zombies, seems to be appearing everywhere right now, whether it's Shino Numa, Goran Karovi, Derizen Drache in a cipher, Revelations, Peter McCain is without a doubt an important character in our zombies storyline. First appearing all the way back in 2008, Peter McCain could be found hanging Shino Numa. Back then we really knew nothing about this character besides from a radio you could find in Shino Numa. And now in Revelations we find this exact same radio and this is what is said. <laughs> I hope you're receiving this transmission, Peter. If you are not, then all hope is lost. You must know by now that we failed to contain the asylum, that we had to move the experiment here. Location. The numbers will guide you. The giant must remain. At all costs, repeat, Der Reese must... At all costs. The DG2 experiments continue. You'll be our only advantage now. Find Dr. Richthofen and Dr. Maxis. They may know what's going on. The use of element 115 is dangerous at best. I'm not sure if we can continue here. We've lost most of our best. I hope you get this. I hope it hasn't happened there too, but I'm almost out of hope. Six, zero. Five, four. Zero, six, point, nine, six. One, zero, one. So you see it's the exact radio that we heard from Shino Numa where we have Peter's handler telling him to find Dr. Richtofen and Dr. Maxis because they may know what's going on with all of this surrounding element 115. As we know, Peter was sent to the giant. He went undercover to find out more about 115. He was then transferred to Verrucht, but after being found out, he escaped Verrucht and then sent himself on his own mission to infiltrate the Rising Sun facility and find out what Division 9 were up to. But after 2008, for all those years we heard nothing from Peter until he suddenly and mysteriously appeared falling from the sky in Gorad Karovi. This is because in our new timeline when Peter jumped out of the plane to infiltrate the Shino Numa facility, looking down through the open door of that plane, instead of seeing Shino Numa, all Peter could see was a portal. But instead, he continued along with the mission, jumped out of the plane and went straight through that Aurora Boalysis. He went through that portal, it closed off. After closing off, the portal opened up in a new location, which was Stalingrad, and spat Peter back out. Not only him, but our four Origins characters who were on the mission to pursue the World War II version of Nikolai. As we know, when Peter was falling down from the sky, our characters thought quickly and used his parachute to land safely. It was unknown in Gorad Krovi whether Peter died or whether he'd just fainted from falling from the sky and was just unconscious, but but when they all finally landed on the ground safely, Peter's body was nowhere to be seen. So once again, Peter became a mystery. It seemed like he was going to be missing once again for years. But no, in Revelations, we see Peter is alive and well. In fact, if you go to the trailer, at about 30 seconds in, into the Origins recap, you can see Peter is standing here with the MX Grand. Peter is alive. Now this is something I've literally yesterday only just noticed. I've had so many people saying, Eli, what about Peter McCain in the trailer? Where is he in the game? What's happened to him? And I've been saying, what the hell is everyone going on about? I didn't even notice this because this scene, this clip is on for literally less than a second within the trailer, but I've just spotted it. And since so many people are asking about it, I thought I'd go on and try to explain to you guys what's going on, why Peter is now in Revelations. Now, of 
course he's in the trailer, but we don't see him anywhere within the game. Obviously, there's so much to explore still. So there's the possibility that there could be more links to him in Revelations. But as far as we know, he isn't in the game, but he is in the trailer. Why are we seeing him in Revelations? Well, first off, you have to remember that Revelations is a mess. It is a convergence of all of these other zombies maps. Drys and Draka, Verrucked. We seemingly have little parts in the background of Verrucked of Shinonuma. We have Origins, Mob of the Dead. We have all of these maps that have been broken apart and scattered everywhere near to each other. And of course, Peter McCain, when he was alive and well, the last location we knew of him was at Verrucked. And it would seem that the time as to when Peter was at Verrucked, he has merged. Or the best explanation I would say is this is kind of like the interdimensional convergence we see happening with the mob of the dead plane, where things are bleeding in from another universe. Simply, you could say Peter has bled in from the Verrucked universe into Revelations. That could be one example. We know that Verrucked is literally near Revelations itself, so he could have simply have been roaming about in that general area. As to what happened to him after, we don't know. Did he become a zombie? Did he get eaten or eaten, however you say it, killed? Is he hiding somewhere? in the map. There are so many actually explanations you could use to explain this. Peter McCain could have been in Revelations in one of the other hundred attempts we've tried to complete the Revelations Easter egg. Similar to what we've seen in other trailers, for example, there's that Zvono Shima one where our characters all kill each other. Obviously, that actually happened, but in one of the hundred times that we've played that map before and tried to complete that Easter egg and tried to kill Takio. The same with Revelations. In one of the hundred times that we've tried to kill the Shadow Man and complete that Easter egg before, Peter McCain could have been in one of those attempts existing and could have helped, maybe assisted towards killing the zombies with our Origins crew. We really have no idea. But you can clearly see Peter McCain has been at Revelations. He was alive, he was well. And as to what's happened to him now, I guess, once again, we go another three years as Peter being a mystery. This guy is one of the most iconic characters in Zombies, and I guess he's still going to go down as one of the most mysterious. But there we go, guys. I thought I'd try and help you understand what's going on here. There are so many possible explanations, but hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you have left a lag rating, which does mean an awful lot to me. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Zombies videos, and of course, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.